Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Today, I want to take about five minutes and share with you on how to turn your prayer into production, how to turn your prayer into production. Now, we all know that the Bible calls us to a life of consistent prayer. And Jesus says that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Paul teaches us to pray without ceasing. However, many of us really struggle to get in that place of, of consistent prayer where we're actually interceding and enjoying our time of prayer before the Lord. And there are a couple of reasons why that I've come to learn over the years that I want to share with you. Number one are all the responsibilities that we have. What does that mean? Well, for me, I've gone into prayer and I have all these thoughts that come to my mind. I need to make a doctor's appointment. I need to call my friend. I need to check on my mom. I need to clean out the garage. I need to get the car to the shop. And just it's just on and on and on to where you can just start feeling worked up and you just want to just get to work because you feel so overwhelmed by all of the responsibilities you have. I'm going to show you how to deal with that. Number two is all of the issues in our hearts. I'm angry with my neighbor. Um, I, I'm concerned about my children. I'm um, frustrated about my job. Um, I don't make enough money. Or I'm concerned about our government, the nation's welfare. Or I'm worried about the future of my company. And it, it just can take you from wanting to pray all the time to just like, you know what, it's not really producing anything. I go into prayer, I'm frustrated because I feel overwhelmed with all of these thoughts. Well, here's how you deal with it, and it's not really complicated. It, it's not even, it's not as spiritual as you think either. It's actually pretty practical. Take a piece of paper and a pen to prayer with you. When you get into prayer and those things start to flood your mind, just start to write them down. I need to do this. I need to do that, do that. And I mean, you write them down. And if you haven't been in a life of consistent prayer, and maybe you don't know this as a method to use to make your prayers productive, it could be pretty tedious at first. But write every single one of them down until there's nothing there. Every concern, every responsibility, write down to the most minuscule thing. Write them all down to there's nothing there. Take that piece of paper, you're committed, you're going to deal with that, set it to the side, and now you can go into intercession. Some of those things can be right there on that piece of paper. Right, and, and you go into prayer, worship, and you're good. Now, once that time is up, and you may not feel like you have a whole lot of time, but you do, get that piece of paper back out at some time during the day. And start going through that list of responsibilities and prioritize it. This is the way I do it. I'm just going to share with you how I do it. What can be done in five minutes? What can be done today? What can be done in a week? What can be done in a month? What doesn't need to be done at all? You start to prioritize those things and you start going through them and checking them off. And keep that list of things to reference. The other things you have journaled. Now you can say, I pray now you can just go one by one throughout the day. Open up your prayer journal. If it's not on your mind, pray about it. Watch how God moves on it. Over time, my brothers and sisters, what you will see is that by doing that consistently and checking things off, you will be more and more productive. You will find yourself in a place in less than six months that you'll say, wow, I really need to make sure that I'm praying. Because what really happens in the presence of God is he actually makes your responsibilities, they come to light, the things you have to do. And it also shows you the things that you're worried about that you really shouldn't be worried about, like that thing that I don't really even need to do that. Now that's off the list of things that can flood your mind when you go into prayer. So. That's what I wanted to share with you. It's a real practical thing to do. Write those things down, prioritize them, pray, journal, keep track of what God is doing. And last but not least, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. God bless you. Have a great day.